Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to address a comment that I have got repeatedly over the years on these tractor builds and I'm really sick of getting it so I'm making this video and I know I'm going to get it again. But this is for all the Tim the Toolman Taylors of the world that keep mentioning 350 on these tractors. It's not going to happen. And I'm making this video so I can leave a link and then get butt hurt and give me a thumbs down. The purpose of these builds is not more horsepower. I am not building these things for a tractor pull. If I'm going to put a big gas hog engine in it, I'll put the factory one back in it. And as far as car motors goes, there's far superior stuff to a 350 Chevy for a tractor application. I'd rather put an inline six in, you know, fits inside the frame and it's actually got more torque and put an HEI distributor, you could go that route and one wire alternator and have a heck of a rig. Which I know, the 350s, but you can get them for anything anymore. But these tractors did not come out with a lot of horsepower. I looked it up right before making this video. The Farmall F12, hopefully it's in the camera, it's 14 horse factory. The Alice B is 19.5 and the BF Avery sitting behind me is 25 rated. You know, all these tractors are in that ballpark of round 20. Now, obviously, you're not going to put a 13-horse Predator on a great big 100-horse tractor and expect to do anything with it. But you can put it on one that's 14 and get away with it and run a brush hog just fine. A lot of people think you can't. I don't know why I have a video of one with a 6.5-horse in it brush hogging, mowing grass. I will leave that in one of the corners of this video for all the naysayers that say that don't work. But I'm not really on a rant, but it's just getting old, so I thought I would make this video. You know, I'm not building these for tractor pulls. The whole purpose of these is to put a small engine for fuel economy with dirt cheap parts, even cheaper than a 350 Chevy. You know, these are off the counter. The whole engine, 400 bucks right now. They used to be 300, but post-COVID, we're at 400 on a basic 13 horse. You know, I'm not in the market to put a 350 V8 in it. That defeats the whole purpose of a gas. I mean, that's a gas hog. I just assumed put a little bitty six if I was going to do something like that, but I'm not. I'm going to, you know, six and a half and 13s. And the little Alice B actually has quite a bit of pulling power with a six and a half. But by the time I geared it down, it still mows, but it's slower on the PTO, you know. But the 13 horse running three to one on that F12, I would guarantee you, if not three to one, two and a half to one, it'll work like a champ and be pretty well factory horsepower and work like a regular tractor like it come out factory. So, slight tangent, slight rant, not too bad, but just FYI, I will never put a 350 Chevy in any of these tractors, so quit asking, and quit bringing it up, and this video will be linked to you, Tim the Toolman, when you mention it in the comments again. Like I said, it's just getting really old. More horsepower, supercharger, put the turbo, put the NOS, you know, I don't care, we're not in for speed, it's a frigging tractor. It's not made to go fast. I don't want a V8 in it. You're supposed to go slow and pull stuff. That's the purpose of it. Cultivating, disking, mowing, you know? You don't go fast. And you don't need a great big gas hog to do it with. That's even stupider because you're going slow and burning a lot more fuel for no reason. And you know, these come out with a four cylinder. Why would I double it, burn twice as much gas to get the same job done? It's stupid. So. Like I said, this is for all my little Tim the Toolman tailors, and I will leave a link, and I can pop this right to you, you know, every time someone mentions that, because I know I'm going to get it again, and I've had it several times over the years, so. Like I said, slight tangent, but I think I'm entitled. I've been on here four years, and I have played with and messed with a lot of these tractors, and we're still building, so stay tuned for all the builds on the channel and all the stuff, and you know, as far as a V8, the only one I would really like to do, and I would mentioned it in the video I just made before this, I got an OMD out there, and I would like to put a 7.3 IDI diesel in that, just for the cool factor. But, you know, then you're in a diesel. It's still international and an international, and it will fit. I'm pretty sure it'll bolt up once you get the adapter plate off. You just have to stretch the frame out around it because it's a big V8. But I think that would be kind of a cool factor. But I will never put a 350 Chevy in none of them, so forget it.
I mean, if you're going to repair it with something like that, like I said, a little inline six would be just awesome because it would be way more practical. You know, one of the Ford, like the Mustangs with the 170 or 206 would be great. I mean, I think that might be kind of cool down the road, but like I said, we're doing this for the Predators and cheap little engines, great little engines, really cheap parts, and fuel economy. That's the purpose of what I'm trying to do is farming for pennies on the dollar. I have preached it on all my builds, or at least most of them. You know, if I can get the same job done with a one-cylinder versus a four-cylinder and burn a quarter of the fuel, that's my purpose. Not put a great big V8 gas hog in it and go at the same 1.2 mile an hour in first gear to pull a stupid brush hog. It's stupid. I'm sorry. You know, if I was doing this for a tractor pull and I wanted horsepower, absolutely. You know, then it would be, hell, why stop with a 350? Let's put a great big 454 big block in it or something, you know? But that's not what I'm building. I'm not into tractor pulls. I have a working farm and I'm trying to do build something that I can do 90% of my jobs with cheaply. So, you know, that's my rant for this time, I guess, for quite a while. I don't do this very, very rarely, you know, but it's just, I'm sick of that comment. I'm going to have a video to link to you if you're one of the ones that comments it. So, no 350 Chevys. I'm not in tractor pulls. I'm into functionality. And that's the purpose of this. Like I said, cheap parts, cheap fuel, and get the job done. So, I'm going to cut the video off and stay tuned. we got more builds coming without 350s in them and more stuff to come on this farm and garden updates we got some stuff going on with livestock and like i said we'll be doing some builds too down the road but no 350s so i guess that's it for this video so if you like this please give it a thumbs up sorry for the tangent but it's overdue <laughs> and like i said just give me a thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you haven't already and leave me your thoughts other than 350 chevys because i am sick of the big v8 things what would you do you know kind of what would your little quirk be what would you like to kind of see something odd or different repowering a tractor you know the 350s like i said there this is stupid to me for what i'm actually trying to accomplish and everybody uses them and I, there's no purpose in this but anyways let me a comment what you think what you would like to see other than that and you know it's nice maybe you guys talk about yourself and you know, see what everybody's got, you know. You know, something stupid like an old Mercedes diesel or something like that, you know. Or Ford Rangers and stuff used to have little four-cylinder diesels or, you know, just something like that or whatever. But anyway, talk amongst yourselves. Leave me a comment. I'll answer back. But anyway, sorry for the tangent. I'm starting to go off on another one. But anyway, leave me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for all the upcoming farming projects and builds. And I guess that's it for this video. So as always, like and subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Bye.